Welcome back to the Can-Am Garage, guys. This is a look inside the box of the Monogram Mustang Cobra. It's 78, 79, box is 79, so it's a 78, 79 Mustang Cobra, but it's, surprisingly, it actually has something in common with my Mustang in that it has a Turbo 4. Hmm. So I'll open the box. Even though it was open when I got here, it still vaguely smells of the late 70s. <laughs> or oh, that's my story. I'm going, going to keep that story. I'm <laughs> going with it. The chrome tree. Notice that there's one cylinder head, which immediately got me wondering when I opened up the kit for the first time, back when I got it from Len Geisler. Again, thank you, Len. Clear parts, including headlights, taillights, windshield, sunroof, and rear glass. This one, well, I haven't opened the plastic bag yet, but there's three sets of the Mustang Cobra decals, four tires, the, the dreaded monogram TRXs, but it's a, it's better than nothing. <laughs> the instructions are interesting to say the least. Yeah, something's been cut out and that's okay. I can work with that. Hadn't noticed that before, but that's all right. Again, vintage monogram, vintage monogram style instructions. Yeah. And we'll just go from there on that. The decals, I have no idea if they're any good. Probably aren't. That's all right. What we'll do? Oh, heck, why not? Seems we're here. Seems I am going to build it someday. I don't know what color yet. Well, actually, I had an idea. It's just I've sort of forgotten it since coming up with the idea, but... As you can see, even back then, Monogram did a nice job on the bodies. Actually, that's pretty nice red. No, I'm not going to leave it in that red. And I know better than just to try and polish bare plastic, but yeah, everything looks right. Because I can, I can recall seeing these Fox Body Mustangs back in the day, and oops, sorry about that. The sprue, there's the the engine. <laughs> four exhaust points. Yeah, so definitely four cylinder. The egg crate grill from back then, the hoods, the scoop. Nice badge molded on the front edge of the hood. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yes, I know what I said, but I also forget what I see sometimes. There's the exhaust system, the wheel backs, the live rear axle, the interior tub. Yeah, but again, looks right for the vintage of the car. There's a few pieces kicking around loose in the bag, which we'll get to in a minute. And then for the moment, we'll have a look. Well, that's all the backside of everything. Really nothing to see here. We'll move along, move along. See, it's looked fairly comfortable. Not as comfortable as mine, but <laughs> this is a model. Oh, God, and that dash is... <laughs> An ergonomic nightmare in my book, but that's all right. Cool. It'll still be fun to build this someday. Someday, someday, someday. Floating around down in here is the air cleaner. The radiator line, the wheel backs. Hmm. It might not be radiator line. That might be the turbo. Hmm. Still, very cool. Nice little kit. Thank you kindly to Len Geisler for... Deciding I needed it more than he did. <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to put it. We're going to rattle things around as we slide everything back into the bag that's supposed to be there. If I could remember how I took it out, it would go back in easier, too. Anyway, all right. That's it. That's all. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you here next time on the Can-Am Garage.